Tonight in Tainan, where a water boil alert remains in effect. The water board there is looking for emergency grants from the city to pay for a filtration system that will stop sand from getting into the water supply. And they're also looking for a long term solution. This as residents are understandably concerned. Our Michael Gibson was in Tainan today and spoke with those water officials and residents about their water crisis. We found Carlos Sola at his home here in Tynan mowing his front yard. He says he left Puerto Rico five years ago after Hurricane Maria heavily damaged the island's power grid and water supply. He tells 3 News he then moved to Texas to escape those problems, or so he thought. First, there was the power grid disaster of February 2021, and now here in Tynan, there's a water boil alert. Well, what they told us is that we have to boil the water uh, before any kind of consumption. Mr. Sola says it's disappointing that when he comes home after a long day of work, he then has to boil his water to be able to use it. He filled up a clear glass with water in it and it looked perfectly it fine. Looks it's not like it's contaminants in it as such lead or, or, uh, or something that have those kind of adverse effects. What you have is small grit, sand, it eats the little plastic pumps up on the washing machines, the dishwashers and all. So. Uh, People are frustrated. This is the city's water well. The entire system is 25 years old, and officials say it needs to be completely replaced. Right now, a filter to keep sand out of the system needs to be repaired. It'll cost thousands of dollars to do that. We brought a sand expert in and looked, and uh, with the uh, intervention of a, for lack of a better word, filter, they call them hydroclones, we feel like we can remove and buy some more time till all this comes uh, to fruition. The water board members had a phone conference with one of their financial advisors. The plan is to eventually drill a new well, which could cost somewhere in the neighborhood of $300,000. The board is working on getting a grant to cover that. But in the meantime, it's going to cost thousands of dollars for a new filtration system. And that's money no one here has, as most folks are on a fixed income. Until the money is found, these water boil alerts are sure to continue. Officials are also worried about the possibility that another three feet of sand could end up once again in the city's water storage tank, causing the water to be shut off again until it can get cleaned out. From Tynan, Michael Gibson, 3 News.